Good day, folks. How's everyone doing? Brad here, Savage Firewood. Been a little while since I put out a video, so uh, we're back at her, or uh, going to attempt to. It's been uh, up and down, of course, as uh, life uh, takes its tolls, and uh, you know, work and everything else, and try to keep uh, putting videos out for you guys. And once again, I appreciate everyone that subscribed. We're uh, hitting on the 630 subscribers, and uh, I'm I'm honored, to say the least. So anyways, I just want to show you what I've been up to and bring up to date to what's been going on around here besides snow and the weather and everything else. Beautiful day here today, uh, around one degree Celsius, so just above zero here. And uh, beautiful day, I figured it'd, you know, it'd be time to start a new video and get things rolling. Anyways, uh, I've been at this, it's been for a little while now, but uh, um, some of my wood chunks here. I've been doing the like maybe five five dollar bundles. I'm not sure about uh, exactly where I'm going with that. And then I've got uh, some bigger bags right here. This is all uh, hickory. So yeah, I've, I've sold a few uh, bun uh, bundles, a few uh, bags of those. Twenty bucks a bag, five bucks for the little guys if you want a sample type of thing or whatever. Uh, I'm just playing with the different avenues of firewood and uh, make things exciting, right? So, anyways, uh, we'll, uh, so if you look at down here, so I just finished up uh, clearing my driveway again and the wood yard. From my last video, this is uh, the, the load that I got in. And uh, pretty much did not do much with it. It's uh, under snow right now. So my attempt today, this is where we're going to go with this. I'm going to clear all this up and then I'm going to uh, clear as much as I can. Get some wood to start it here because I do have uh, two face cord to go out to a customer. I'm going to try to get it out today, if not tomorrow. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a challenge here this year uh, with the weather. It's been all over the place. It's been up and down. We have had ice, rain, wind storms. And, uh, yeah, it's, but I gotta say that, uh, skid steer is, uh, has been a, a game changer in that aspect of things, like being able to move snow, as you can see here, you know, it's been very, uh, you know, quick and efficient for me, you know, change from, uh, change from bucket to forks and, uh, and get the job done. So, so that's the up and up on here. I mean, I got a little bit of, uh, I've been at it a little bit here and there. So we got a little bit of wood left in here right now. But uh, I really got to get my uh, my arse in gear to uh, for, the, for the next season, that's for sure. So, uh, like I said, uh, life in general takes uh, twists and turns. And I had a, a bit of a uh, shoulder injury there. Um, I don't know if it was a knot or something in my back shoulder and that sort of put me down for a bit there. So I took a, a little bit extra time off for that. So, but now on the downside of things, there's always a downside, right? It's, it's just the way life is, but so here we are. That was my, uh, free, um, skid steer shelter that, I, that was a building. So still free. But at uh, the end of the day, yeah, it collapsed on me. I wasn't able to uh, clear the snow off the, the, the tarps I put up there. And of course, I, you know, I uh, short come, I, I, at the, towards the end, I, I just did things quickly and just threw it all together and of course, right? And this is the proof in the pudding right there. Do not just short come anything. If you're gonna do something, do it properly or don't do it at all. And of course, I uh, at the end, I just want to get a cover uh, over the snow, uh, over the skid steer, have a shelter that keeps snow off. I, you know, I attempted to keep the snow off the shelter, and uh, it did last for a bit till was it last week that uh, then I came in with the skid loader and I actually lifted two, three feet of snow off the off the top, off the top so and uh, just so it wouldn't ruin my walls. So I think it still might be savable. Um, well, as far as I know, it should be. So the weight's of it now. I know the wall's leaning here. I, 
and I probably shouldn't have used all screws. I should need nails in there. No learning curves, right? So it is what it is, and uh, I'll make it to use. Either way, it'll be uh, awesome pellets for my uh, wood stacks later on, or uh, for uh, stacking my wood. So, anyways, that's where we're at today. Um, up to date, and we're going to uh, get this cleared. No snow. And uh, we're going to get uh, get some chainsaws out. And uh, stay tuned because uh, I got something I want to show you that I've acquired for the wood yard. All right, so uh, here we are. We're going to uh, get rid of uh, the snow here. Snow. We're going to get rid of the, the logs in the snow. And uh, we're going to get those split, put them through the Easter made 1222. And then we're going to get at uh, cracking this pile. I did clear some of the snow, but I'll clear it as I, as I carry on here. So let's get at her. Warm up there.
Okay there guys, so like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, I said I'd uh, have something to show you uh, that I've uh, acquired for the wood yard, something I acquired from a friend, and uh, it's something I've always been uh, wanting. Uh, ever since I was a kid, that's what I grew up around regarding chainsaws. Uh, there's Macaulay and Johnson Red, and I've always nostalgically wanted, to, wanted one of those for nostalgic, nostalgic reasons. Um, it's been one of those solves that they, and they don't make them anymore. It was 2008 they stopped production. Uh, you can quote me wrong if I'm wrong on that, but I believe it was 2008. And uh, so this saw here is a 2004 Johnson Red. It's a CF2150. It's a 52cc saw. Yep, 52cc saw. So, uh, yeah, I just put it through a... Uh, cut two pieces of wood with it, and that's why you see sawdust. I don't know, it was, it was actually, it's mint. It was like it never been used. Uh, this bar I put on from an 18 inch, because what it came with it was a 16 inch, uh, and that one was burnt. So, whatever I, uh, he said that the oiler wasn't working, but when I opened it up the cap here, there was like no oil ever was in this, ever. And not only that, the, the shutoff valve here for the adjustment valve, right here, was, uh, was uh, turned all the way down, so. Don't know any more than that, but uh, it's still it's oiling. It fired up on three poles, and uh, it's an amazing saw so far. So it's a light saw. This is I wanted something a little bit uh, lighter than what I've got right now in the 70 cc class. So uh, yeah, and only that's like it's for nostalgic reasons. It's just a saw that I grew up around, uh, seeing my my father and his buddies uh, use, and uh, and that's yeah. So. Uh, this is, uh, it's, it means a lot, I guess, to, to me, for me, on a personal level. So, good old John's are red. I finally got one, and it's uh, near mint condition. So, I would say near, uh, is mint, because you can tell by the muffler, no rust on it. It's, and it was zero sawdust in here. It was nothing, like it's never been used. So, but anyways, I got an 18-inch bar on it right now. And, uh, yeah, pull the filter off. Like I said, it was like the day it came out of the factory. So, very fortunate. So, I figured I'd bring that along. Uh, show you guys. Uh, that'll be coming up on the new video, uh, my next video coming up. Uh, I'm going to be putting this video tonight. Uh, so, hopefully this is Monday. So, you'll probably see it Tuesday, I guess, uh, and so forth. Uh, I'm going to try to get one another video up by the end of the week. Uh, I'm going to try to start uh, expediating uh, how much I, I put out uh, video-wise. Uh, it's been about a month since my last video. That's a little bit too long in my books. Sometimes uh, life takes precedence, like I've said at the beginning of the video. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna start switching that up as best we can. So uh, we got more coming to the channel. Uh, so be patient there. And uh, yeah, so I really wanted to show you. I'm probably more excited than show. I didn't know what you guys would be, but at the end of the day, I'm ecstatic about it, and it's uh, it's awesome. So you will see a lot of this all coming up, and I just want to see uh, how it performs and. And uh, just have something lighter so you're not killing yourself. Because I know that 572 is a, it's a heavy saw. So, but uh, anyways, I, I want to appreciate every one of you guys and girls that, that watch uh, this channel, that subscribed and everything else. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, it helps with the channel a lot. And uh, we'll catch you up on the next one. Take care. Work hard, play harder. Savage Farwood. Mm -hmm.